my friends, I am quite honored that you have taken the interest and time to listen to the information that I humbly bring to you on this day. The subject that I will address today is, Are African Americans Dying to Eat? I chose this particular subject to bring to light the fact that a great many illnesses are associated with poor diet and nutrition. Any student that has studied biochemistry knows that many biochemical processes that we humans rely on to function depend greatly on vitamins and minerals. The most vital biochemical pathway of all, the Krebs cycle, which produces the energy that is critical to all cells, this pathway utilizes minerals such as magnesium throughout its intermediary steps. When the diet lacks proper vitamins and minerals, crucial pathways are unable to operate efficiently. This leads to illness and often premature demise of the individual. This, however, is only the tip of the iceberg. Taking care of one's self involves many measures. The American lifestyle is detrimental to one's health. Immigrants born in countries where illness and disease rates pales in comparison to the rates that they occur in the United States and where life expectancy is much longer routinely began to develop common health problems in a shortened life expectancy similar to that of Americans after living amongst Americans and adopting our lifestyle. Because of this, conventional practitioners of medicine have their hands full managing the many emergency cases that present to their clinics and ERs each year. That combined with the fact that allopathic medicine to a large degree is disease-based, whereby oftentimes, but not always, the symptoms of a particular disease are treated and much less emphasis is placed on the causative factors, especially when they have to do with nutritional imbalances. The foregoing way of approaching health care exacerbates the problem. With the disparities in income lessening and moms entering the workforce at staggering rates, many people who typically ate most of their meals at home are beginning a situation whereby they're beating a path to fast food providers. African American neighborhoods have more fast food restaurants per square mile than any other community. Lack of practicing the most basic principles of nutrition and poor eating habits have led to a major health crisis within the African American community, specifically, and within our society by and large. A new approach to medicine came into being to address many of the issues raised above. This new form of medicine is known as functional medicine, whereby the cause of health problems are addressed to affect change in an, in an individual's health on a long-term basis. I am a proponent of functional medicine. If you would like to know more about the work I am doing, please visit my website www.geocities.com slash chirocare slash dr underscore syl dot html I'll spell it for you www.geocities dot com slash chirocare slash dr underscore syl dot html remember the information presented here is strictly for educational purposes it is your responsibility to solicit the counsel of a physician before engaging in any activity that has a bearing on your health
At this point, I want to bid you peace and may God bless you.